and hoping desperately for some kind of scrap. Now, as Brent was just talking about the, the grinding down of leopard's teeth actually happens from about three years, apparently, they start to show wear. And at two years, however, they get their full dentition. So she can afford to grind away at that terrapin because her teeth will actually sort of regen, well, they won't regenerate. But I suspect she's still getting her adult molars at the moment, so she can use those milk molars. This hyena is unconcerned with life. Yeah, there are two of them here. They know that the leopard poses no danger to them whatsoever. He's not going to take any risks to try and chase them away. And they also know that there is no way, no matter how skillful that leopard is, that all of that carcass is going to remain in the tree before a piece of it falls down and gives them something to eat. They too will have a Sunday meal. Of course, if I was a hyena and I was desperately hungry, I'd probably try and eat the tick off my friend's ear. Hmm. Wouldn't you, Vim? Mm. I think that I would go up to my mate and say, Listen, old buddy, old pal, we're both hungry. How's about I eat that tick off you as a snack? Brett, you're wondering about the heat that is generated by eating, and does it make them hotter? I think that was your question, was it? It most certainly does make them hotter. Eating makes the animals hotter, and uh, that's why the leopard is panting. It's not the act of eating, it's the act of trying to metabolize or digest the food that's creating metabolic heat, uh, which in turn must be got rid of. And you can see that the temperature is such that these hyenas are not panting in the slightest. It's perfectly, perfectly temperatured. It's the most ideal temperature, around about 28 degrees Celsius or 82 or so Fahrenheit. Oh, I see. Oh, M4. <laughs> this was the question, so nobody asked the question that I'd previously answered. You say, does the blood of the prey decrease the predators thirst absolutely it's what makes predators like the leopard in water independent they're completely water independent and so they don't actually have to drink they will drink if they can but they don't have to and so the blood would certainly make a huge difference to that problem is well a tourism vehicle with tourists on it and of course tourists are the mainstay of how a private reserve like the Sabi Sands remains a conservation area. So we're very thankful for their presence. And of course, uh, Tingana here is one of the main reasons that people come to the Sabi Sand. Now, I think that there's going to be the most wonderful sunset shot. Now, Reese. As we all know, climbing Everest is a cold business. You've got to buy all sorts of jackets and things, and even if you go up Kilimanjaro, uh, the highest peak in Africa, you've got to w buy some cold equipment. Uh, but I don't believe that the kulf afforded by the extra two, um, say, four meters that he's gained in the top of that tree is going to result in more coolness. I don't think that there's any difference in temperature, but of course, he is slightly more exposed to the very gentle breeze blowing out of the northeast. That's an unusual breeze out of the northeast today. And so, yes, I suppose it would be quite cool up there. But like I say, the temperature is perfect. It's just not hot at all today. It's the most gorgeous kind of autumnal afternoon. And it's this time of year, if you are worried about temperatures too cold or too hot, it's this time of year that you should come out because it, the temperature is perfect.